do you feel stuck that even after watching a lot of tutorials you're not seeing any improvement in your art the first the first and the most common mistake is that you're watching tutorials okay let me try to put it in another way that makes sense <laughs> you're watching tutorials without practicing them tutorials are good you get to learn something new but there is no point in watching them if you're not going to do them watching a tutorial doesn't help you improve art you don't improve unless you actually get a hands on experience of the thing that you're trying to learn if you're trying to learn how to sculpt you can watch as many live streams of nico as you want but you won't learn anything unless you actually open blender and try to sculpt your brain does not store that information that you are just watching and consuming in order to actually make it a part of your long term memory you have to give it something else to attach to and the way that you do it is by performing those activities is by practicing the thing that you're learning so don't just watch tutorials go open the software that you're trying to learn go and open the medium that you're trying to learn and actually do the exercise that is being taught to you the second mistake is something that i was doing very frequently i was watching something that i wanted to apply in the future so let's say i was watching how to sculpt a character and then i would suddenly think hmm if i had learn how to sculpt i would also need to learn how to retopologize so i start watching tutorials on retopologization and then i would think hmm i might even need to texture them so i would start to watch tutorials on how to texture the thing is you don't need to watch a tutorial unless you reach that stage so if you at the stage of sculpting right now just consume tutorials that are related to sculpting because all the time that you're going to spend learning how to retopologize watching these tutorials you're not going to perform retopologization anytime soon and when you actually reach the point where you want to retopologize you'll already forget all the things that you've watched in that tutorial those concepts are not going to stick with you because you never had something else to attach them to you weren't practicing retopologization so you'll forget the concepts when you actually reach that stage so only watch tutorials related to the stage where you are and figure out things on the way become a master at sculpting first and then try to figure out how to retopologize and the third reason that you're not doing well is because it's because you're jumping from tutorial to tutorial instructor to instructor youtube channel to youtube channel so imagine this is your goal you can go straight to your goal you can go sideways and then eventually come to your goal or you can go sideways from the other side and then reach your goal the thing is you're not committing to any of these three paths you're jumping from this path to this path to this path and it's bringing you no benefit okay i'm just realizing that i should have done this in photoshop and recorded the screen but never mind you get the point don't you so commit to the instructor that you like the most commit to the method that you find the easiest and once you reach the goal only then can you actually decide okay which instructor was better which approach is better and then maybe you can learn a bit from a a bit from b and then mix match those concepts but during the initial process if you're trying to learn from everyone it's going to create more confusion in your mind and here's a bonus there is literally no point watching tutorials if you don't actually have the discipline to practice if you think about okay i'm going to practice art and you're unable to practice it every day there's no point watching any tutorial or any course i have bought so many courses just to abandon them and i never had the discipline to follow through neither did i have the motivation to continue after a certain point and i've really committed to seriously practice sculpting for maybe the last 2 months and i haven't skipped a single day i have completed my first course which is the superhuman anatomy course by nico and this is the first time that i haven't abandoned it if i was learning this course just a year ago i would have abandoned this too if you want to learn how to be disciplined if you want to practice the things that you like consistently if you want to change your mindset about this too join my free discord community where i will be doing weekly calls just to answer your questions just to help you with the issues that you are facing we're currently around 10 members and as soon as we reach 20 we're going to do weekly call every week where i will answer your questions and help you overcome the hurdles that you are facing and similar to you there are going to be other people who are struggling with their art so you won't be alone it's going to be a place where you can learn from one another 
everyone will help each other and support each other. We will learn from each other's mistakes and I promise you it's gonna accelerate your growth. If you like this video then hit the subscribe button now because I'm gonna be producing a lot more self-improvement content that you can benefit from. It will change the way you think about your art and it will make practicing, learning and growing much more fun and much more enjoyable. So I hope to see you there. Take care and goodbye.